In June of 1950, North Korean forces crossed the 38th parallel and invaded South Korea. This event began the Korean War. Now this garden bed represents the peninsula of Korea. Up here to the north, we have North Korea with cucumbers and beans. Over here is China. And down here, of course, we have the 38th parallel and South Korea right here. When the North Koreans invaded the South, taking the capital city of Seoul, they caught everyone by surprise. They ultimately pushed their way down here into this little corner called the Puzan Perimeter. I call it the Potato Perimeter because of the lush potatoes that we see growing that are starting to pop up through this Ruth Stout method of gardening. But that is a topic for a different story. Now at this point, it looked like everything was lost. It looks like the Allies, the Americans and the South Koreans, were gonna be pushed into the ocean. However, this is where General MacArthur made his famous landing at Incheon. Now you might remember General MacArthur. This is a lunatic from World War II who basically abandoned his soldiers in the Philippines. He left them there to be thrown into a prison camp, tortured, beaten, and killed many of them. And then one day he did return. He was the same guy who the U.S. War Department told to go pick up the president of the Philippines, and MacArthur replied, I can't. We can't make it. That is, until the Philippine president offered $500,000 to General MacArthur, which he gladly accepted. By the way, $500,000 back then is about $8 million today. We'll see General MacArthur making his landing here at Incheon, which is right about here. And by coming in here, he was able to cut the logistical lines of support that the North Korean army was depending on. Remember, it's a long way from your base of operations all the way down here. So MacArthur comes in, cuts those lines, recaptures the city of Seoul, crosses the 38th parallel, captures Pyongyang, and has the enemy on the run pushing him north, 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 north until he gets to right here, the Yalu River. Here we are at the Yalu River, the border that separates North Korea from China. It is at this very location that the United States Army got too close during the Korean War, which spurred the Chinese communists to get involved in the war. Hey Sarge, I got a really bad feeling about this. I'm starting to get a little scared. Be quiet, soldier. Remember your training. All right, Sarge. I hope you're right. Hey, buddy, what do you think about this? That's what I think, too. Hey, Sarge, I think the enemy's coming. We better get out of here. You boys get out of here. I'll hold them off. Now, with the Chinese in the war, the North Koreans are emboldened. We'll eventually see the North Korean army along with their Chinese friends pushing back through these cucumbers and beans all the way recapturing the capital city of Pyongyang crossing once again the 38th parallel into South Korea and retaking Seoul. Again, things look bleak. But the Americans and South Koreans, they'll begin to push back. They recapture Seoul and the fighting begins to cease. Things begin to slow down until cooler heads prevail. The United States has a new president at this point, Eisenhower. Truman is gone. So with Eisenhower as president, the United States is able to get an agreement, a truce, if you will. They don't end the war officially, but they do have a prolonged ceasefire that's still in effect today. So the demarcation between North and South Korea is still the 38th parallel, but troops are on both sides itching and waiting in case hostilities begin again. 